Hi everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. Just want to do a quick update video here just to show you guys exactly what my brother and I were able to add into our silver stack in 2014. Uh, also too, I'll just officially end our um, goal for 2014 to try to add 100 ounces of silver bullion to our silver collection. When we started 2014, we had set the goal of adding 100 ounces, which was pretty ambitious for us at the time. Um, in 2011, 12, and 2013, we were only able to add uh, roughly 30 ounces in total. Uh, so it was a really ambitious goal, something that we knew that we had to work towards. And luckily enough, we had all of your support to help us along with that. But I'll jump right into it here. Uh, or I should just mention first that we did we were successful at our goal and we were able to add 113 ounces into our silver stack. But what I've done is I've just divided it up into the different products that we were able to buy, um, starting with the Australian Perth Mint products, uh, the Canadian products, the Mexican Libertas, some Silver Eagles, and then the uh, Somalian elephants and some different silver bars. But just starting up here on the left, we were able to add two 10 ounce uh, Year of the Horse and Year of the Goat Lunar Series coins. Uh, we really like those coins. We uh, were able to add uh, some Lunar Series products, and that those were our first Lunar Series products, uh, but also to keep the premium low. Uh, so those were two great coins. We also added four half ounce Year of the Horse. We also added 10 one ounce 2015 Kookaburras. And these were probably my favorite coins that we added in 2014. Uh, we really liked the design of the 2015 Kookaburra. And I'll just get in a little bit closer. I believe it's the 25th anniversary. And these are just great coins. We were able to add 10 ounces in total of those. And lastly, for the Perth Mint products, we were able to add four one ounce 2014 Australian saltwater crocodiles. Again, just a really nice coin from the Perth Mint. And for our Canadian products, we didn't add too much in 2014. Uh, we kind of diversified uh, into some other products. We did, however, purchase a couple of coins from their Birds of Prey series. These are two, um, the first release, the Falcons. And we were also able to add two bald eagles as well. We were also able to add in 2014 the one ounce uh, 25th anniversary Canadian maples. Those came out in 2013, but we were finally able to add uh, two of them here um, when we saw that they were being offered at a good deal. And we didn't add too many... Uh, Canadian maples into our stack. We added four from 2014. As you can see, they're, uh, they've already milk spotted a little bit at this point, uh, but we really wanted some of these just because it was the new design, uh, and we were able to pick up four of those. Next, we have our Mexican Libertads and 2014 American Eagles. Uh, we showed these in our most recent video, but we were able to add 10 one ounce 2014 Mexican Libertads. Uh, we really like the design, as I mentioned in our previous video. And really, our go-to coin for the lower, uh, lower premium uh, bullion coins was the 2014 American Silver Eagles. We were able to add 16 of those into the silver stack. And again, as I mentioned, these were our go-to coins when we were thinking about the Philharmonics, or Maples, or even something like the Libertads. We really like the design, and we were able to add 16 of those coins into the silver stack. And then finally, we have our Johnson Mathy bars. We have two 10-ounce bars. Again, these are our first and only 10-ounce silver bars in our silver stack. We added two of those recently. We've added quite a bit of these over the um, previous purchases before 2014, 
but we added 10 more one ounce Johnson Matthew bars, which we really like. Again, the Johnson Matthew bars, not only do they look cool, but uh, also too, it helps us just to uh, dollar cost average lower as the premium on those are usually pretty low. We also have one 100 gram Scottsdale bar, which is just really cool. And also, probably my favorite piece that we added in 2014 is this two, uh, two ounce bullet. And this was actually given to us as a gift. Uh, it was the only piece we didn't actually purchase ourselves out of everything here. And the individual who bought us that is most likely watching this video. So again, we just want to give a big thank you to them again for adding that into our stack here. And then finally, we added six 2014 um, Somalian elephants. And we added some of these in 2013, and uh, we got a really good deal on these six here. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to find the 2015 Somalian elephants, but when we do uh, find those, we'll definitely be adding a couple of them into our stack, hopefully in 2015. I don't know what it is, but the Canadian dealers, for some reason, uh, don't have those available for us just yet. But that's everything that we were able to add in 2014. Again, before I end this video, I just want to, again, thank you guys for all of your support in 2014. Uh, we really wouldn't be able to uh, accomplish our 100 ounce goal uh, if it wasn't for you guys and uh, we sincerely mean that 2014 was a year of significant changes for us uh, we weren't able to put out videos as consistently as we were able to do in the past but uh, just having your uh, your support uh, even when we went a couple months there I believe it was three months without posting a, a video uh, we were still receiving uh, great comments everyone was uh, still checking in with us and uh, when we started posting some videos again you guys were right there again to support our goal and our push to 100 ounces so thank you very much to everyone who's uh, left comments and watched the videos um, but 113 ounces in total in 2014 uh, we significantly increased our silver stack which was a, uh, a great accomplishment for us I hope you guys had a great 2014 as well. Uh, thank you again for all your support, and we look forward to uh, accomplishing more in 2015. Uh, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you next time.